ever been in the studio listening to that vocal you've been working on forever and you think it sounds perfect and then you look at your producer or your bandmates and they look at you like you have two heads? Well, get ready for a mind blower that will save you a ton of grief. See this spaghetti monster of lines? This isn't just random noise. This is how a particular person's ears listens to specific frequencies. It's called the head-related transfer function, or HRTF. And in simple terms, it's your ear's specific acoustic fingerprint. Your outer ear, that funky shaped part, actually shapes and filters the sound before it hits your eardrum through the ear canal. Think of it like a custom EQ built into your head. In some of us, the highs might be lower or the mids might be higher. Yes, it follows a similar curve in all humans, but the differences are not negligible for sure. That means the same exact music can sound very different to different people at the same volume. What is nice and punchy to you might be weird and muddy to them. So this isn't just nerdy science. It explains so much. Your bandmate is not crazy or just trying to be difficult. Your producer isn't crazy for hearing some harshness that you don't. Their ears are literally listening to a different version of the same sound. So instead of arguing whose ears are right, you realize that everyone's experience is valid. So what's the takeaway? Don't just mix for your ears. Reference on multiple speakers, get feedback, and aim for a sound that translates well, especially in Atmos and immersive audio. So next time there's a disagreement, remember, HRTF, schedule a one-on-one -on -one consulting call with me and let me take the guesswork out of whether your mix translates well for everyone's unique ears. Follow and subscribe for more insights.